Now start with a slip knot. And take the ring and keep it like this. And you can start doing single crochets all the way around. So insert the hook into the ring, grab the yarn, pull through, then grab the yarn and pull through too. So this is the first single crochet we have done. So another one, insert the hook into the ring, grab the yarn and pull through, grab the yarn and pull through too. Okay, we will make another one. Insert the hook into the ring, grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn and pull through too. So we have completed three single crochets here and after that you need to work two chains one and two then five single crochets one two three four and five then after that again chain two and we need to repeat this pattern for 11 more times that is five single crochets then chain two five single crochets then chain two like that we need to do that another 11 times complete it and meet me back now i have completed it 11 more times then we are going to make two more single crochets into the ring one And then two we have completed wrapping the ring so after that we need to put a slip stitch to the first single crochet we have done over here so insert the hook into the first single crochet grab the yarn and pull through that and pull through the loop now after that you need to do a slip stitch to the next chain Then another slip stitch to the next chain. Then we reach the chain 2 space over here. So insert the hook into the chain 2 space. Grab the yarn and pull through the chain 2 space. Then pull through the loop. Now we have moved the loop into the chain 2 space. So pull it a little. And then you need to cut the yarn leaving for about 40 centimeters pull the tail like this after that you can turn the stitches on the other way around Now you can see the chain two spaces are popping out like this. So what you have to do is insert the hook into the chain two spaces. And pull the yarn through the space.
then again insert the hook into another space and pull it from the other side so likewise you need to do it randomly to the chain spacers make sure that you are going through all the chain 2 spacers After completing doing this, insert the hook into a corner stitch like this and pull it through that and again to the same stitch you can put a knot like this and you can cut the yarn and then insert the hook into few stitches in the corner and run this tail through the stitches for a few times to hide it. Then you can cut the small tail and now to insert the jump ring take the jump ring and open it up using the plier then you can insert that into a stitch Then insert the hook ear wire into that and close the jump ring. 